Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson, we're going to handle waiting for animations. And I'll just explain what I mean by this. When we come to the impact and the strike block, the enemy is going to play a certain animation. So if the player goes inside the attack radius, for instance, and remains inside the attack radius, the enemy is going to try and play an attack animation, but obviously we need to wait, or the script needs to wait, for that first animation to finish playing before it tries to play the animation for a second time. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to copy one of these lines here um, we're copying the run animation clip line and we'll just paste that in twice and I'm sure you've guessed we're just going to change the naming convention so we'll say impact animation and we'll have the attack animation and we'll just change the comments as always so We'll change it to impact there and attack here. But before we go further, we're just going to come where it says animation clip right at the end and we're going to open and close square brackets. And we'll do the same here. Now, what this allows you to do is assign more than one animation. So let's save this off here. And we'll downsize mono develop and we will come to our enemy game object. And here we go, our enemy AI script. And as you can see, we can now expand these animations. So if you only have one animation, just type in one. But in this case, let's come to our animations and as you can see we have two attack animations so we'll assign both of those in the inspector here and we also have two damage so I'll change this to two and we'll assign both of them there and obviously if you're using a model that maybe has three or four you can assign as many as you want and once those are assigned we'll come back to the script now we're going to do this by creating another block in between the initialize and idle function. So we'll do that now. We'll come inside the enum here and we'll call this function, let's call it wait for animations. And we'll make this equal to one and the comma. And we'll just go through and we'll just add one to what they was numbered previously so strike now becomes six and for the dead function it's now seven and we'll come to the switch block itself and we'll just copy the first function here all three lines and we'll just paste it in below and we'll just copy this naming convention here and we'll swap it out Now don't worry about the red error here, that will disappear once we create the block here. So again, we'll come between the initialize and idle function. And as always, it can be of type private and void in this case, because it does not return the value. And again, we'll paste in that naming convention. We'll open and close, we'll open and we'll close again and one last thing we'll do in this lesson is in the initialize function we now want this block to switch to wait for animations first so we'll change it here and we'll paste that in again and we'll paste it in in the comments and we'll just save this off and if we go back up as you can see that red error has now disappeared 
So now when the finite state machine starts, it will start in the initialize function, it will now flick to this function. And we have no code yet, but um, in the next lesson we will add code that will basically say that um, depending on what um, where the player is in relation to the enemy, to switch out to the appropriate block. So as I said, we'll do that in the next lesson. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you next time. And until the next lesson, bye for now.